come join me on this adventure and I'm so excited to get to share all of this and this process of reconnecting to myself through nature. Let's go. There's going to be a lot of flowers. There's going to be a lot of dancing in nature, a lot of hugging trees. I love it. In 2022, I moved back from New York City to Oslo, Norway. And one of the things that I was craving was nature. As a kid, I grew up always being in nature. And as I grew older, I felt like being in nature was a chore. So when I moved to New York City, I didn't even think about the fact that I would miss it. After going through some sexual trauma and having my whole life flipped upside down, I found spirituality and started really understanding how crucial being in nature truly is for us human beings. What truly opened up my eyes for being in nature was my ex. He was a nature fanatic, and I don't think I have ever been that much outside as when we were together. I will forever be grateful for the way he opened my eyes to a different way of being with Earth. After we broke up, I noticed that I was not taking as much time to get into nature as I had been before. When I walked to the places we had been together, memories popped up, and it was hard to feel like it was a thing just for me. That was one of the reasons why I decided to have this video dedicated to create my own relationship to nature. Being with nature has always been connected to what other people wanted to do, but this month, has been my reclamation of our relationship and it has completely changed my life. This is gonna be the last summer that I'm gonna live in Norway. That just sounds insane, but I am moving out of this country next year. There's just this feeling within me that knows that I am meant to move somewhere else. Where that is, I have no idea yet. I have a few inklings, but yeah. I really want to take advantage of her, of nature, of being so close to a city and to city life, but also having nature available. I think my anxiety has been coming up a lot with all these big changes happening and Nature has really helped me to ground and to feel supported in all my decisions that I'm making. And there's a new moon in Taurus next week, so that also is just perfect. I'm a Taurus moon, and one of Taurus's big things is being in nature, so it's, it's kind of the perfect month to do this. We all come from nature. The earth is our physical body, flesh, muscles, and bones. Our root chakra is what connects us to the earth by grounding. The water is our emotions, blood, bodily liquids, and 70% of what we are made of. It's connected to our heart and throat chakra. The fire is our passion, life force energy, confidence, and our heartbeat. It's connected to our sacral and solar plexus. The air is our breath, our thoughts, ideas, and dreams. It's connected to the third eye, which governs our ideas and insight. I am currently on my way to Songsvam, and my one thing that I want to get done today um, is to climb a tree. We get to connect more to ourselves by connecting to nature. I have found more compassion, love, and reverence for myself by being witness to the fact that nature is perfect as it is. It just is, and has surrendered to the cycles of its nature. We are cyclical beings. Being in nature has made me observe the seasons and become fully present to the nature's cycles. The moon has a 28-day cycle, and it affects the tides, aka water, therefore it affects us as well. We are cyclical beings and are supposed to rest. We're not supposed to do all the time.
And it's mucking this that heals us. And we have the space to express when we have the comfort and safety of nature holding us. You can get fucking loud! And you do it even easier. And community, sisterhood. This is what the summer is all about. Using what we got. This beautiful, incredible nature. So we can be held, we can be in our feminine. Just playing and having fun and being loud. Because that masculine part is able to hold us, is able to comfort us in the way that we need. So the summer, starting, yeah, June 1st, the day this comes out, we will have a dancing in the woods event. Not in the woods, uh, dance like nobody's watching. We'll go on uh, a camping trip. I'm thinking something like this. Or maybe at the caves that we're visiting uh, or have been visiting when you watch this. There will be meditation, connecting to nature, being in sisterhood, and just connecting to your inner child through play and through joy because healing is really hard and being able to do these hard things in community in a safe space where there is a lot of fun there is a lot of just love and joy and safety uh, within a group of, of women it is magical nature also gives us different seasons spring summer fall and winter planting seeds being in full bloom harvesting the fruits and saving up energy for the next cycle. Surrender to the seasons of life. Thank you for holding me. I have also felt so safe and comforted by being held by Earth. If you tap into the energy around you in a comfarious forest, you will feel more of the masculine energy. But if you go into the jungle in Costa Rica, it will be able to tap more into a feminine energy. Water is more feminine, and mountains are more masculine. Caves are the symbols of the womb, and man-made parks have more of a masculine feel. <laughs> Little fairy. No matter what you need, and wherever you are, you will be held by nature, and different environments will be able to support you in different ways. By being in the masculine forest in Norway, it has helped me to heal more of my relationship with the masculine, and I have been able to soften more into my own femininity. And I invite you to think about what your dreams are. There we go. There might be an initial fear around being alone in the woods because of the witch wound that has made us believe that being in nature is dangerous. But the more you do it anyways, the more you are going to feel held. Thank you for regulating my nervous system. Nature has become one of my favorite ways to regulate my nervous system. When we tap into the healing frequency of earth by putting our feet on the ground or hugging a tree, it brings us back to equilibrium. In nature, there are no distractions, nothing that has to get done. It has nowhere else to be. It just is. La det holde deg. Se for deg at den har to armer. At den klemmer rundt deg. And you get to become a part of this being if you allow yourself to be in nature in this way. Kuler er jo veldig tillit. Det er jo veldig feminint, så du føler egentlig deg litt mer som noe boom. 
Det kan også holde deg på andre måter. Men alt beveger seg. Alt er levende. Og alt er energi. Thank you for being a great playmate. Climbing trees, Woo! swimming naked in lakes, dancing around in the mystical woods, and fulfilling my fairy dreams. I never feel alone in nature, and you get to be creative and look beyond what is actually there. Can a stick become your magical walking stick that you decorate and bring on your hikes? Maybe make a flower crown of all kinds of flowers or maybe create a fire that you can dance around. There are endless possibilities that you get to do in nature and you get to Magical. choose how you look at it. Wow. Thank you for getting to honor you and share you mm -hmm. with like-minded souls. As I step more and more into my purpose, I truly feel that I am meant to hold space in nature that I am meant to bring souls back into the place that we all come from. And this I do through dancing or through going on nature walks and really emerging us into life. Getting to sleep under a starry sky, getting to wake up to the birds chirping, being in community in nature is such a precious gift and I'm so grateful that this is a part of my journey. Thank you for sharing your magic. When you get really quiet, when you truly open your eyes and see what's been right there in front of you the whole time, you will experience so much magic. Nothing is too small or too insignificant. Every little flower, sunset and leaf is so intricate, but we are sometimes too busy in our life to actually take it in. And the more you start noticing, the more beauty and magic the universe sends your way. You might have seen a butterfly before, but it's the way that you decide to react when you see a butterfly for the hundredth time that determines how much magic you will allow into your life. Magic doesn't just appear in our life. We have to look, we have to be seeking it to be able to open up to the magic and the mundane moments. No, I am not in nature, but I'm going to nature, so that's why I'm taking you with me. I'm going to Lillehammer to visit my dad, so we'll be in nature all weekend, and I'm so excited! I also got my moon today. It was a full moon yesterday, so I'm feeling all the feels. There's a train. That's why the noise, but yeah. So it's going to be a relaxing, enjoyable weekend in the way. Yeah. Nature is where we all come from, and I know that if people spent more time in nature, swimming, hugging trees, touching grass, and being without having to do something, our world would be so much happier and healthier. This is why I'm bringing unique souls into our motherlands and sharing all of what nature has to bring. We are meant to frolic in fields and climb trees and to be of nature. With this, I leave you with two questions to reflect on. How do you desire your relationship to nature to look like? And how can you start getting into nature more often? My dad has currently left me to go for a run for an hour and I'm just gonna sit here enjoy my life in my hammock read a book about nature try to work this hammock thing out and it might rain so this is actually perfect I can sit here and read my book oh, and enjoy life enjoy the fuck out of life
I love nature. That's the conclusion for this video. I fucking love nature. It's magical. Truly, truly magical. Meowgical. Woohoo! Ay ay Wow. Thank you so, so much for watching this month's video. This is it. This is me exploring nature. It has been such a fun, exciting, calming, and interesting journey. I love exploring one topic a month. And next month, we are gonna delve into pleasure. Ah! I'm so excited and this is out of my comfort zone. We're gonna do some self-pleasuring. We're gonna wear things that feel pleasurable. We're gonna eat the foods that feel good to us and I'm excited to figure out how I want to invoke more pleasure into my life because pleasure is my word of the year and it just seems right to me to delve into pleasure next. Nature was like a catalyst for everything that I do now and pleasure is gonna be something that I want to help other people feel. More pleasure, more just sensuality and juicy goodness. Juiciness has been like juicy. It feels so juicy to me. That's my favorite word right now. And I'm excited to bring you guys along and to share yet another wonderful month of exploring a topic let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video this is what i have been called to do forward i can't do a video a week i don't have time for that but i do want to upload on my youtube so let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions of things that i should explore I'm thinking maybe money the month after this because money is also a very... I want it to be thought-provoking and I want it to be really just like out of my comfort zone and helping you also maybe get out of your comfort zone a little bit. So I'm thinking picking like thought-provoking um, topics that make my soul on fire. I'm traveling in the foreseeable future and I want to talk more about intuition and how to travel with your intuition and just a lot of juicy goodness coming your way so I want to thank you so so much if you have sat through this entire video and you're here with me right now I feel your energy and I'm so grateful to have you on this journey go and follow me on Instagram if you want to stay updated on my day-to-day -day, uh, life. I also am a coach so I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I also have events that I'm hosting now in Norway. If you live in Norway definitely go and check it out and yeah thank you so so much again for watching. I love you incredibly majorly juiciest <laughs> and I will talk to you in my next video bye